servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As the time drew near for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely took the road for Jerusalem and sent messengers ahead of him. These set out and they went into a Samaritan village to make preparations for him, but the people would not receive him because he was making for Jerusalem. Seeing this, the disciples James and John said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven and burn them up? But he turned and rebuked them and went off to another village. As they traveled along, they met a man on the road who said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered, foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another to whom he said, follow me, replied, let me go and bury my father first. But he answered, leave the dead to bury their dead. Your duty is to go and spread the good news of the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, sir, but first let me go and say goodbye to my people at home. Jesus said to him, Once the hand is laid on the plough, no one who looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. So welcome once again to our Mass this Sunday. Welcome to Francesca and her family. We pray for you, Francesca, as you prepare to receive the Lord in Holy Communion for the first time. We have been, since the pandemic, really developing a notion in the the parish called the Domestic Church. Just to remind you that the Domestic Church is the home, the family. Jesus said, wherever two or three gather in my name, there am I. So every home where people gather who believe in Jesus, Jesus is present. And therefore, that home, that family, is a church called the domestic church, the church at home. So this is a church building, but the idea of the church at home is a place where the faith is transmitted, where people pray together, where people speak about Jesus, speak about the Mass, speak about the Word of God, and encounter the love of Jesus, the love of God in that family home. So it's a really important unit of the parish, of the church, and of society that we build the domestic church. And through domestic church, then, we've been preparing children for First Holy Communion, not working to a date and time, but working to a time when they are ready. So we're not working to a time or date in June or May, but working to a day when the children and the family are ready to receive Holy Communion, ready to say, yes, amen, I truly believe. This is the body of Christ, body and blood, soul and divinity, the love of God who gives Jesus, his son, to us in Holy Communion. Every time we receive Holy Communion in faith, we become more like Jesus. We receive Jesus to become more like Jesus, to become him. We are the body of Christ. We are the church. And the body of Christ is given to us in Holy Communion. In faith, we say amen. And we receive Jesus in faith to become more like Jesus every day. 
The gospel is very helpful this Sunday in, telling, in reminding us what it is to be a disciple, a follower of Jesus. So Jesus goes into an area where Samaritans live, that area of Samaria, and he's rejected. And the disciples say, let's call down fire from heaven and burn them all up. And Jesus says, no. And he goes off to another village. This is really important at this time of war in Ukraine, a time maybe when violence and revenge can often be the order of the day rather than the example given us by Jesus and the gospel. He rejects revenge, anger, violence, but proposes nonviolence and love. Love of neighbor. And love of neighbor is the only way to achieve true and lasting peace in the world. And then he gives three little indicators as to what the things needed to be a faithful disciple of, of Jesus. The first one is, the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And this re relates to a disciple of Jesus engaging in um, self-denial, basically saying, I don't exist for the material things of the world. I'm here for God, to fulfill God's purpose for me. God created us to know him, to love him, to serve him. Our purpose is to fulfill the plan of God. So the Son of Man know where to lay his head. We don't exist for this material world. We exist for God and to fulfill the plan of God. That's the first thing, self-denial. Then he says, once the hand is laid on the plow, no one who looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. And this really is about perseverance. We all know that life gets tough at times. And when life is hard, you just have to persevere. You won't feel very jolly about getting on with life every day. You'll feel jolly sometimes, hopefully, but maybe not every day. So when the tough times come, it's about perseverance. Keeping at it. Keeping going. The perseverance required of the disciple of the Lord. So self-denial perseverance and the third thing is a certain urgency we can put off many things until tomorrow next week I'll become a good faithful disciple when the conditions are right maybe in a year's time or two years or the urgency of today now is the time to be a faithful disciple of Jesus today now let's not put it off until tomorrow or next week, or next year, now, the urgency of the present moment. So self-denial, perseverance, and a certain urgency about responding to God today. So let's pray that we will be faithful disciples of the Lord, responding to the Holy Spirit in our lives, acting with great urgency in our faith, Action, act, acting with great perseverance and denying ourselves and living first and foremost for God.